said, there's no evidence against me. Cops are gonna have to release me soon. Meanwhile, everything I built, everything I entrusted to you, is vulnerable. Business is not at risk, Sonny. You know that because? Uh, because the Sakars are dealing with Johnny right now. Right. They don't have any time to make any type of hostile move. South American partners, that whole situation is stable. So all who's, shipments are on track. But who's running things? Come on, Diane, Bernie. Who's, I'm, I'm running things. Well, from in here, your rivals know that you're out of commission. They could be making a move. They could be taking advantage of you. You know, you never know what's coming in weeks or months. Bernie is keeping me informed. There's nothing to worry about right now. Yeah, but you, you could be underestimating the damage. Okay, why, why, are you, why are you pushing me so hard? Because I don't think you're being realistic about the situation. If you came here to tell me something, just tell me. I mean, do you want the business back? I was just offering my help. I doesn't mean I want to take back the business. Are you sure? You agreed to take control on one condition, that I sign away my kids. I have done that to keep my family. Nothing. So why do you keep showing up telling me how I should be running things? Because as, as your friend, I see that you're not doing things right. I've worked more than a decade adding territory, building power, and I just see that you're letting things fall apart. What are you talking about? Nothing's falling apart. When things start to go downhill, they slip quickly. If you're not strong enough to hold on to the territory, everybody's in danger. And I spend one night in lockup? How many times have I done that? That doesn't mean I'm losing control of anything. Maybe not. But you might have been losing control when you forced me to sign away my, my kids. We, you, wa you want it out. You want it well, in You life. sure did use it as leverage. And you weren't going to give up until Carly got revenge. This, now, this is not about kids. revenge for me or for Carly. You know what this you is about? It's about the blaming kids. me for what happened to Michael. And for whatever reason, you turned against me to work with her to take away my kids. The only thing good that came out of it is that I'm out of the business. And I'm not going to lie to you. It's not easy. But it's your business now. That's fine. And if you suffer half the losses I did, you understand my pain. I have obtained a court order for my client's release. There is no proof that Jason Morgan intentionally aided or abetted John Zakara's escape. Therefore, you are obligated to release him. Jason blocked Detective Harper's shot at John Zakara. Jason saved Lulu Spencer's life when a trigger-happy cop might have shot her head off. My client's swift intervention prevented a tragedy. Judge Randall sees it that way. It's all right here, in the court order. You know what, you should advise your client that if he makes contact with Johnny or Lulu, he should advise them to contact us. Once again, I have so earned my retainer. Judge Randall just issued a court order for your release. Commissioner Scorpio is processing the paperwork as we speak. You, are, you will be out of here in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Have, have you heard from Sonny? I had a meeting with him this morning. What? Well, he came to see me and he wanted to know who was, you know, watching the business while I was in lockup. And you said? I am. I mean, things are calm with his cars, South American partners, everything's good there, but he said something about being vulnerable to rivals. Do you know what that was about? Rivals? Um, perhaps Sonny simply misses being in charge. No, he doesn't He doesn't want the business back, Diane, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out what, what's going on. That is anyone's guess. What did you guys talk about this morning? Jason, anything that I discuss with Sonny is subject to attorney-client privilege, and I owe him the same loyalty and discretion that I owe you. Oh, you got a delivery. Russian vodka? Yeah, it's from Carpon. Here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Here. It's a bribe. You keep your mouth shut about Karpov. I don't want Jason to know about my deal with him. Yeah, no problem. But chances are he's going to figure it out his own, boss. I mean, Karpov's in town. He's got to be dealing with somebody. I don't, wa I don't want your warning. Just want you to do your job. Yes, sir. 
I take it you just came from seeing Jason. I don't even know why I bothered. He used to be grateful for my advice. He had respect. And he still does, boss. No, well, you know what? Ever since Michael got shot, he's lost his trust in me. I try to talk to him, give him my honest opinion. He, mis he misinterprets what I'm trying to do. Boss, the thing with Michael shook him up pretty bad. Maybe if you just went to him and told him how you were feeling and what you... I'm not going to talk... What, what, what do I... Ha what more can I say, Max? I'm done. It's best for everyone that Jason doesn't know about my dealings with Karpov. Hi. Looks like you two work things out. How's, uh, how's the, the baby? <laughs> Perfectly healthy. You need to realize what an amazing woman you have here. I do, Sonny. Yeah, um, so I'm here on behalf of another amazing woman, my mother, the grandmother-to-be. Anna? Yeah, her self-confidence has taken a blow lately, and I could really use your help. 